Hey guys, welcome to Tech Nazar. This is Rohit Sharma, and in this video, we are going to analyze our quiz four based upon analog electronics uh, second quiz. Okay, uh, there are total number of twenty question, uh, and uh, total score will be eighty marks. One correct question is equal to four marks, and one incorrect question is one mark. Those who have not joined the Telegram group, please join it. It's rota for EC so that you can attempt quiz. Okay, so let's start the video. Question number first: In a silicon diode circuit below. A diode current of 6.7 milliampere, that is I D is equal to 6.7 milliampere, is fall is flowing through it. Assuming diode is ideal, ideal means no losses, anything, no losses in the circuit, some कुछ भी नहीं है, ठीक है? One, its forward resistance and second is the cut-in voltage. We have to find its resistance and cut-in voltage, that is V T or threshold voltage. Okay. We can do this question logically also. Suppose I am saying that this diode is forward biased. Forward biased means the voltage across this device and the voltage across this device will be equal. If I am saying that the voltage across this is V and this is also V, then the voltage across diode will be V minus V. That is zero. The voltage that is the cut-in voltage will be zero. And also when this is short circuit, this uh, the diode is short, uh, short circuit so that the I D current is flowing. I can say I is inversely proportional to resistance due to the uh, due to Ohm's law. If I I is the current flowing through is is through its is infinite. Okay, we know that in short in we know that in short circuit the current flowing through the path is infinite. Therefore, if I is infinite, then resistance should be zero. Okay, therefore the forward resistance is also zero and the cut-in voltage is also zero. That is zero ohm and zero volt. Okay, this is how we can do this. Question. Also, we can find the voltage across three on three hundred ohm resistance and hundred ohm resistance by applying voltage dividing or applying voltage divider rule. Okay, you you will see that V will come out to be V will equal to eleven point one one volt. Okay, this will eleven point one one. This is eleven point one one, and therefore the voltage between these two nodes or the voltage across the uh, diode will be zero volt. This is how we can find this question. Okay. Question number second. The ideal characteristic of voltage stabilizer is it will produce a constant output voltage with low internal impedance. Okay, a stable a stabilizer always produce a constant output voltage if and only if it has a low internal impedance or resistance. No internal resistance. Okay, this you have to remember. Okay, next question. Question number three. A forward bias diode diode behaves as a. This is a very easy question. Behaves as a ordinary diode. Why? Because zener diode. Because zener diode always works in reverse bias mode. Reverse biased mode. Okay. Therefore, a forward bias zener diode will be a ordinary diode. Question number fourth. How can we do this question? In a voltage regulator circuit shown below, the power rating of a zener diode is 400 milliwatt. Okay, the P P Z that is given as 400 milliwatt. Okay, and we have to find the value of R L. We have to find the resistive load. <coughs> resistive load. Okay, that will establish maximum maximum power in zener diode. If we can find the current flowing through this zener diode, that is I Z max. I Z max, which is equal to P upon V Z, that is P is 400 milliwatt, and V Z is given as 10 volt in the diagram. Okay, from this I Z I Z max is equal to 40 milli amps. Okay, this will be 40 milli amps. I can write the current flowing through this resistor, that is I R, is equal to I Z plus I L current. Okay, load current. Also, I can write this I Z plus I L is equal to current flowing through the resistor will be twenty minus ten upon triple two ohm. Okay. On solving this, on solving this, you will get I L as this will come out to be forty five milli ampere when you will calculate, and we know that I Z is. I de I Z is forty milli ampere. Therefore, forty five milli ampere minus forty milli ampere is five milli amps. Okay, this is I L minimum. Okay, 
when il is minimum then only the resistive load will be high because i is inversely proportional to r okay if i is minimum then resistive load will be high therefore rl would be vz that is the the voltage across this diode will be equal to the voltage across this resistive load because they are connected in parallel rl is equal to vz upon il minimum rl is equal to vz is given as vz is given as 10 vl il minimum is given as 5 milli amps therefore that will be this will be equal to 2 kilo ohm the resistive load will be 2 kilo ohm question number 5 how can we do this question? For an NPN transistor connected as shown in the figure VBE is equal to 0.7 given that reverse saturation current of the junction at room temperature at 300 degree Celsius uh, Kelvin is 10 to the power minus 13 ampere that is the I naught is 10 to the power minus 13 ampere we have to find the ammeter current okay so whenever two terminals of the BJT are shorted then it will act as a diode okay remember this property whenever the two terminals of the uh, of the BJT is shorted then it will work as a diode therefore I am putting diode current equation that is I equal to I naught VVE upon eta VT that is the eta is the idealized factor VT is the thermal voltage at room temperature I naught is given as 10 to the power minus 13 E to the power VBE, VBE is 0.7 upon eta is 1 for silicon diode and VT is 26 millivolt at room temperature minus 1. If you solve this, you can solve it with the help of calculated, you will, this will come out to be 49 milliampere. Okay, this, uh, this question I have given only because of this property that whenever two terminals of the BJT are shorted, it will act as a diode. This is the reason that I have given this question in the paper. Okay. Uh, as you know that calculator is not allowed in technical assistant paper therefore these heavy calculations are um, uh, heavy calculations will not come in the paper okay therefore option c is the correct answer next one can use bjt as an amplifier only in the forward act forward active region in this the input junction will be forward by and the output junction will be reversed by then only it will act as an amplifier okay question number seven how you will in this there is an error in the question in this the value of IC and beta for a transistor having IB IB current is 100 micro ampere okay and alpha is 0 0.98 okay you can also assume this value by knowing if you know that alpha always lies between 0 to 1 then you can also assume that you this is 0 0.98 okay some students some students have assumed this as 0 0.98 and they have provided me the correct answer okay therefore for beta beta is equal to alpha upon 1 minus alpha alpha is 0 0.98 upon 1 minus 0 0.98 okay 0 0.98 upon 0 0.02 this will come out to be 49 as beta beta value will be 49 ic is equal to beta times of ib therefore beta is given as uh, beta is given as 49 IB is given as 100 micro ampere. Therefore, answer will be 4.9 milli ampere. So, answer will be 4.9 milli ampere and 49 will be the beta. Okay. Therefore, option C is the correct answer. Question number 8. Which one of the following statements is correct in a transistor? In this, ICBO is greater than ICO and doubles for every 10 degree rise in temperature okay whenever there is a reverse bias effect then the leakage current will double then the leakage current will double for every 10 degree rise in temperature okay this is the case of reverse bias effect reverse bias effect and ico is the leakage current and icbo is the collector to base leakage current leakage current when emitter is open okay when emitter is open therefore you can say therefore you can say that icbo is much much greater than much much greater than ico okay therefore option b is the correct answer here question number ninth 
डायोड्स आर यूज टू कंपनसेट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ओके दिस इन दिस आई सी ओ एंड वी बी विल द करेक्ट आंसर आई सी ओ एंड वी बी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर हाउ यू कैन सी दैट आई सी ओ वी आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू आई सी ओ डबल्स फॉर एवरी टेन डिग्री राइज इन टेम्परेचर इफ टेम्परेचर विल इंक्रीज आई सी ओ विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज ओके देर फॉर आई सी ओ इज द टेम्परेचर डिपेंडेंट पैरामीटर ओके देर फॉर डायोड्स आर यूज टू कंपनसेट दिस पैरामीटर फॉर वी बी डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वी बी ई अपॉन डी टी इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव मिली वोल्ड पर डिग्री सेल्सियस ओके पर डिग्री सेल्सियस द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ वी बी विल इंक्रीज बाय माइनस टू पॉइंट फाइव मिली वोल्ड और यू कैन से इफ टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजेज वी बी विल बी डिक्रीज बिकॉज माइनस ओके वी बी विल डिक्रीज एंड आई सी विल ऑल्सो डिक्रीज देर फोर ICO and VB both are temperature dependent parameters. Okay, therefore option A is the correct answer. That is one and two. In next question in the circuit given below, VB is equal to point seven. Okay, you have to find beta and VCE. Okay, in this I can say that VZ minus VB, VZ by applying KVL here. Applying K V here, V Z minus V B is equal to one plus beta times of I B into R E because I can write I E is equal to one plus beta times of I B. Okay, therefore I substitute the value of I B with I B, I E with I B. Okay, on substituting the values, V Z is six, V B is point seven, beta I have to find the value, I B is zero point five milli ampere given in the question. 0.5 milli ampere that is 10 to the power minus 3. Re is 530 ohm. On solving this, we will get beta as we will get beta as 19. Okay, we will get beta as 19. And now applying KVL in the outer loop, we will get VCC is equal to 10 minus IC into RC. RC is 200. Okay, minus 530 into IE. I am also writing. I am also substituting IC with IB. 10 minus beta times of IB into 200 minus 530 into 1 plus beta times of IB. On substituting the value, I will get VCC is equal to. This will be VCE. I am finding VCE. VCE is equal to 2.8 volt. Okay. Therefore. Option A is the answer. Option A is the correct answer. Nineteen and two point eight volt is the correct. Uh, this is very easy question. The maximum power dissipation capacity of a transistor is that is power is given as fifty milliwatt. If the collector emitter current, uh, collector emitter voltage is ten volt. What is the safe collector current? I is equal to P upon V. That is equal to fifty milliwatt upon ten. That is equal to five milli ampere is the correct answer. Option A. Next question. The thermal runaway in a transistor bias in the active region is due to the change in the reverse bias, change in the reverse collector saturation current due to the rise in temperature. Okay, I have tell, I have told you that in the reverse bias where the temperature increases, the ICO that is the leakage current will also increase. This is why the thermal runaway in the transistor bias in the active region is due to the change in the reverse collector saturation current due to the rise in temperature. Okay, question number thirteenth. Thirteenth is not for Diploma students, uh, this is a very huge concept in amplifier. For realizing the maximum voltage gain in cascade, it is required that immediate intermediate state should be a common emitter. Okay, how how I can say this? How I can say this? Because the current gain, because the current gain of common emitter. stage is much greater than unity okay remember this point much greater than unity therefore we connect intermediate state uh, the intermediate state which we are connecting in cascade is common emitter okay and uh, because of this voltage amplification will also increases voltage amplification of the transistor or the amplifier will also increase next question question number 14 In the circuit below capacitor, here capacitor will act as a emitter bypass capacitor. Bypass capacitor, okay. Its function is to block DC. 
ठीक है एंड मेंटेन्स मेंटेन एसी स्टेबिलिटी इफ द स्टेबिलिटी इज मेंटेन देन द ऑपरेटिंग पॉइंट और क्यूशन पॉइंट विल बी फिक्स देयर फॉर ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज द रेजिस्टेंस आर इन अ कॉमेटर एमेटर कॉन्फिग्रेशन इफ यू सी द लास्ट क्वेश्चन दे आर आस्किंग दिस रेजिस्टर दिस दिस आर ई रजिस्टर ओके दिस आर ई रजिस्टर वॉट इज दिस आर ई रजिस्टर रिप्रेजेंट इट इज द ए सी रजिस्टेंस ऑफ द फॉरवर्ड बाय बी जंक्शन ओके इज द ए सी रजिस्टर ऑफ द फॉरवर्ड बाय बी जंक्शन बिकॉज द कॉमन एमेटर कॉन्फिग्रेशन इज यूज ओनली टू मेंटेन टू मेंटेन ए सी स्टेबिलिटी टेन ए सी स्टेबिलिटी इन एन एम्पलीफायर ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन This is the previous year gate question. Uh, previous year VSSC question. Okay, gate question. Sorry. Uh, a BJT with beta is equal to fifty. ICBO is given as two point five micro ampere. If the transistor is connected in common emitter configuration, IV is equal to zero. Therefore, I can write IC is equal to beta times of IV plus one plus beta times of ICBO. आई सी बी ओके बीटा विल बी इक्वल टू फिफ्टी आई बी विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो ओके प्लस वन प्लस बीटा इज वन प्लस फिफ्टी इन टू आई सी बी ओ इज टू पॉइंट फाइव माइक्रो एम्पियर ऑन सॉल्विंग दिस फिफ्टी वन इंटू टू पॉइंट फाइव माइक्रो एम्पियर यू विल दिस विल कम आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट वन टू सेवन मिली मिली एम्पियर वन टू सेवन फाइव मिली एम्पियर But in question, this is given as micro ampere. Therefore, the option is incorrect. This will be milli ampere, and option B is the correct answer. Okay. But uh, question number seventeen. Moore's law say uh, Moore's law is related to Moore's law is related to level level of integration of MOS devices because Moore's law says that uh, in the coming future we can fabricate more number of transistors on a single chip. That will be helpful for all of us. Okay. Question number eighteen. In this a uh, simple question, it's a simple question. As potential of seven volt is applied to a silicon diode, okay, and you know that, and you know that there is a voltage drop uh, across a diode. There that will be zero point seven. Seven minus zero point seven is the voltage drop upon one kilo ohm is the resistance. We have to find the current. Therefore, we can solve this. That will be equal to six point three milliampere. Simple, simple question. Option B is the correct answer. Next question, question number nineteen. Semiconductor diodes are not used, not used for LPF because in LPF filter we only use RLC circuits. Okay, remember this. If biasing is not done in an amplifier, it results in unfaithful amplification. Okay, option C is the correct answer. Therefore, I have analyzed all the questions of this quiz. Total twenty questions. Okay, and. Uh, I request all of you to please attempt more and more quizzes so that you can revise your concepts easily. And secondly, those who have not joined the Telegram group, please please go and join that group. And if you like the video, please share it as much as possible and subscribe the channel. That is very important so that you can get further updates regarding the videos coming on this channel related to ISRO TA Technical Assistant Exams. Okay, so. All the very best. मिलते हैं next video में